Hello, my name is Kelly and I am the Mathematic Plumber and today we talk about rainwater leaders and how to size them. All code references will be made from the 2015 National Plumbing Code of Canada. Simply put, a rainwater leader is a pipe that carries rainwater from the roof of a building down to some other location, typically to a storm sewer system. We are specifically going to talk about rainwater leaders that serve buildings that have flat roofs. So in the roof, we're going to have these roof drains that are connected up to the rainwater leaders. They can look like this one, or they can look like this one here, which is a flow control design. The flow control has an internal baffle that you can see right here. And that restricts the amount of water that can drain down into the system over a 24 hour period. Many flat roofs have a raised edge like this. We call this a parapet. Whenever we have a parapet, we need to ensure we have scuppers. A scupper is a little overflow that makes it so water can't pool on the roof to a height greater than 150 millimeters, which is about six inches. All the examples we're going to go through are going to be flat roofs with flow control roof drains. Now in the plumbing code, clause 2414 talks about flow control roof drains and scuppers. I will leave that up to you to read through. I want to point out one important one about the location of flow control roof drains. And that is 2410422D. They are not located more than 15 meters from the edge of the roof and not more than 30 meters from adjacent drains. And part E, there is at least one drain for each 900 square meters. So this is to do with the location of the roof drains on the flat roof. In order to properly size a rainwater leader, we need two pieces of information the area of the roof in square meters. And if we don't know that, we just need to find the dimensions and we can easily calculate it. And the other is the local rainfall intensity. Rainfall intensity is a measurement in millimeters of rain over a 15 minute period when it's absolutely pouring in a specific area. This number is averaged out by Environment Canada over the last 25 years. And that's the number we need to use. We find it in the National Building Code. In order to size rainwater leaders, we will not be using the fixture unit like we have in all the rest of the drainage systems. We're going to use liters of water or capacity. I have a building here with one flow control roof drain right in the middle. The building has a roof that is 30 meters by 15 meters. I have a vertical pipe going straight up and down in the middle of the building that is called a rainwater leader. And when it turns the corner and goes horizontal, we will call that the storm building drain. First thing we need to do is calculate the area of the roof. And the area of this roof is very simply length times width, or 30 meters times 15 meters. And that equals 450 square meters. Now I just need to take that number and multiply it by my rainfall intensity, which is 28 millimeters per 15 minutes. So 450 times 28 equals 12,600 liters of water. First of all, let's size the rainwater liter. We need to look at table 2, 4, 10, 11 to do this. You'll notice there's two halves. The left half is circular liters. The right half is non-circular liters. For the purposes of this class and these examples, we will always use circular liters. Under circular liter, let's look down the right column, the maximum hydraulic load in liters. And we go down the list and we have a choice of 10,800 or 19,500. Well, we're at 12,600. So we need to go to 19,500, go across to the left, and we find out we need a five inch rainwater liter. As that rainwater liter travels down, it's gonna turn a hard right to a horizontal pipe that we call the storm building drain. We'll need to reference table 2, 4, 10, 9 to size that. Let's look at this table. We're going to see a whole bunch of liter values and a bunch of slopes. So I need to know the slope or grade of the pipe to size it properly here. I select 1 in 50, which is about quarter inch per foot. And I go down the list. I notice that there's 10,800 or 17,600 there. Well, 10,800 is not enough, so I go to 17,600, I go across to the left, and I find out the size of my storm building drain needs to be 6 inches. 
Well, that brings us to the end of video one for Rainwater Leaders. I hope you have yourself a great day.